Hi, I'm Matt with E-Trailer, and today we're talking about the Swagman XTC2 Tilt bike rack on the back of our 2023 Kia Sorento. Now this can be a great entry level bike rack if you're starting to just start your journey bike riding. And it's gonna be really good too if you're looking for something that's more compact. So let's check it out. So starting off, this is gonna have a weight capacity of up to 35 pounds per bike and we're going to be able to carry up to two bikes. Now, we'll still have the ability to get a good tilt away too. And the way we're actually going to tilt it back is by coming to the bottom. I'm going to find this latch, pull that off, and pull this pin. With that removed, I can tilt this all the way over here. And for being an entry level rack, that's actually a pretty good tilt away too. And this is going to be great because this gives us full hatch access. So if you ever need to get into the back of your Sorento to get maybe some groceries or if you want to get ready for your ride, get your helmet or tie your shoes, you'll have that ability. With that closed, we can put this back into the seated position. Now to do that, I actually have to lift up and put that pin back through. And it only takes a few seconds. You just got to find that hole. You might have to wiggle a little bit too and then lock this into place. If we want to take a closer look at this rack though, I'm gonna to have to remove my bike. So where I like to start is with these rubber straps. And these just hold your tires in place. Get that out of the way. There'll be one on the front tire too. And finally, we'll move over to the center of the bike where this is gonna apply pressure on the frame. What I like about these hooks is you can actually fully remove these because sometimes I can kind of just get in the way if they just stop at the top. So I like that. Just make sure you don't lose them. Stick them on your rack for the time being. Now, since we are making frame contact, I wouldn't recommend this for anything like alternative carbon frame or any bikes with a really nice paint job. And that's just mainly due to you don't want to damage that frame or scratch it up. And with that done, we just lift up, take my bike off, and then take it out for a ride. Now, if you look down at the cradles that hold our tires, what's neat about those is they have the ability to really travel down that uh, bar so that we can accommodate a pretty wide range of wheelbases. So if you have any kid bikes too, and you wanna go riding with your kid, you're gonna have that ability. And you can tighten them down. Now I like to put all this back in place so I don't, don't have that kind of flopping around while I'm driving. Make it look a little bit cleaner too. And if there's not any bikes on here, you might as well just put this center mass down because it's going to block your backup camera a little bit like this. And to do that, I just have to remove this pin and fold it over and just push this pin back through to secure this down like that. Don't forget about your hooks. And now we can get some measurements. The first measurement I'm going to get is going to be the total distance out that sticks. So since this is a compact design, it's not going to stick out too far. Just a little bit over 20 inches. which is actually pretty good for a bike rack. Now if you're in a really tight spot like a garage, and that garage is really tight, then that's something you might have to watch out for though still. And then for the ground clearance, if I go to right here where that pivot point is, that's gonna be about 13 inches, which honestly is pretty good for this Rento. And that's gonna be due to this rise in our shank we have, because our receiver is pretty low to the ground, so if we can save on a little bit of space, that's going to go a long way. Now, I talked a little bit about how this is going to save you more space if you're in a tight garage, but if need be, you wanted to save a lot of space, then you can actually take this off completely because storing this doesn't take up any room, really. You just have to pull a few pins from the arms and these arms actually fold up too. You just gotta make sure you put these pins back through. And now, while this isn't ideal for driving, 
it's not going to really block it, or it's not going to take up a lot of space in your garage. But with it in a down position, it wasn't going to block your license plates, or backup camera, or our taillights, or back window. So this is something that's very compact and doesn't block anything really. And the way it's going to install is we're going to have this engine quarter shank that has this two inch sleeve adapter. So what that means is we can actually use this on inch and a quarter receivers and two inch receivers. We'll also have this anti-rattle bolt that goes through and connects to a clip on the other side. And what that anti-rattle bolt is doing is giving us more of a secure placement in this receiver so it's not rattling about. Now overall, I think this is a really good carrier if you're looking for something that is more compact and something a little bit more affordable and if you're just kind of starting getting into bike riding. But that was just our look at the Swagman XTC2 Tilt bike rack on the back of our 2023 Kia Sorento. Thanks for watching. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole, or driving over uneven pavement. 